Hey everyone, welcome back to the new lecture with ISO IEC 1725-2017 edition and still in process requirement, non-conforming work. What does it mean non-conforming work? Work which is not conformed to the requirement. So, means that testing or calibration work or the result of this work not conformed to the requirement, to the organization's procedures or to the requirement of this document ISO IEC 17025 or requirement of the customer so the result of lab activity one of the result of lab activity not conform to the quality management system so there should be a personnel who can find out the issue can find out the non-conforming work and that can be by the analyst of the unit technical lead of the unit quality lead of the lab during internal audit and even accreditation body during external audit after that who will find the corrective action to solve this non-conforming work and that can be by the analyst of the unit and also technical lead of the unit and after that who is responsible to prevent this non-conforming work to happen in the future and that can be by the analyst of the unit technical lead of the unit and also quality lead of the lab can give his advice to prevent that to happen in the future again because he is responsible to maintain the quality management system inside the lab and finally the personnel who is responsible to organize all of this process and keep all documents related to this process and that can be by the quality lead of the lab so during the routine analysis or routine work the lab analyst shall be able or shall have enough experience to be able to detect the non-conforming work related to his lab activity so he shall identify any non-conformity related to his lab activity from quality control results or calibrations or other than this and he will send that to the quality lead of the lab to raise the non-conformity and quality lead of the lab will follow with him the progress of solving this issue up to corrective action and the lab analyst shall find out the corrective action he shall be able also or have experience to find out the corrective action for this non-conformity and that will be revised by the technical lead of the unit who will revise and approve and send that again to the quality lead of the lab to approve and close this non-conforming work and as I said before, non-conformity can be raised during the internal audit by the quality lead of the lab or external audit by the accreditation body and in both cases the same process shall be followed. So you shall have the experienced staff, you shall have the personnel who is able to find out the non-conformity or to solve the non solve any non-conformity related to his lab activity. So non-conforming work can be identified through different ways. Can be identified through customer complaint, quality control, results, calibration, instrument calibration, test reports or calibration certificates in calibration laboratory, internal and external audits, and also during manage management review every year. And you should know that Non-conforming work is a deviation, deviation from established protocol or plan or requirement of the document or customer uh, customer requirement or accreditation body requirement or whatever. So non-conforming work is a deviation from an established protocol or plan. And as mentioned in structural requirement clause number five, six, there should be a personnel who can identify the deviations from quality management system or procedures related to lab activities if these deviations if these deviations won't be conformed to this document to maintain the effectiveness of the quality management system after you understand everything about the non-conforming work what does it mean non-conforming work and the whole process for solving any non-conformity inside the lab and also the responsible persons in every step in this process 
After that, requirement of this document, ISO I, C17025 2017 edition. First point, lab shall have a procedure. So you shall prepare a procedure that shall be implemented when any aspect of its lab activity, testing or calibration work, or the result of this work, or result of this work, don't conform, not conform to its own procedures or the agreed requirement of the customer. And this process shall ensure, first point, the responsibilities and authorities for the management of the non-conforming work. Very important to know who is responsible for what in this process to solve the non-conforming work. As I mentioned before, the lab analyst can identify the non-conformity also. The quality lead of the lab can identify through internal audit, accreditation body through uh, external audit, and also even technical lead of the unit can also identify the non-conforming work. Then he will send that to the quality lead of the lab to raise the non-conformity and follow with him the progress up to solving this issue and technical lab analyst after he will solve or find out the corrective action for that non-conforming work he will send that corrective action with the required documents to the technical lead of the unit to revise this work and then he will revise and approve and resend corrective action, final corrective action with the required documents or required documents to ensure that this, this non-conformity has been solved and it will not happen in the future uh, to the quality of the lab to close this non-conformity. And because risk-based approach is very important and newly added to this edition, so this will be a valid point also to be added to this procedure. So the actions, actions taken, will be based on the risk levels established by the lab. So risk levels will be established by the lab. The lab, in this point, lab shall adapt non-conforming work procedure to include different levels of risk. Non-conforming work procedure also was in 2005 edition, but now we will adapt this to include different levels of risk if, as example, if the risk is low or mid or high, and based on type risk, you will take your action. And another very important point also should be added to this procedure, an evaluation is made of the significance of non-conforming work, including an impact analysis on previous results, and that's called reverse traceability. Sometimes you should go back to see what happened in the previous results to get this issue now. And that's same like control chart. If you didn't get out of control point, but you, you got different points that will lead in the future to a problem. So you should stop the analysis. So you should go back and make reverse traceability to see what was the result before to get this issue now. And this reverse traceability is very important also to prevent this non-conformity to happen again in the future. And in the procedure also, decision is taken on the acceptability of non-conforming work and customer is notified and the work is recalled when necessary. As example, if you send the result to the customer related to his lab activity and then you find out non-conformity related to this uh, result or related to this test, in this case you shall inform the customer and also you can repeat the work is if, if, if that's required. And the last point in the procedure, the personnel who is responsible to give decision to restart the lab activity again shall be defined. So the responsibility for authorizing and the resumption of the work is defined in the procedure. And lab shall retain records of non-conforming work and actions as specified in 17.1. All records relating to non-conforming work shall be kept and shall be available upon request. And the last point in this clause, where the evaluation indicates that the non-conforming work could occur or there is a doubt about the non-conformity of lab's operations with its own management system, the lab shall implement corrective action. And that's repeated again. As I explained before, if you find non-conformity, you shall find corrective action to solve this issue. And to prevent reoccurrence of the same non-conformity again, you shall make root cause analysis to find out what was the reason 
for this nonconformity, then you can find the corrective action to solve this issue and to prevent this nonconformity to happen again. And nonconformity also is a risk. So that's related to the risk-based approach. If you find out the risk due to lab activity or lab results, you can find out the corrective action to solve this risk or to eliminate or reduce this risk. And now the procedure for non-conforming work. Procedure control of non-conforming work. Purpose of this procedure for identification, evaluation, and taking corrective action for non-conforming work. Scope that's applied to all lab activities and results and equipments and also any deviation from the quality management system inside the lab. In the procedure, first point, non-conformance can be identified by any analyst inside the lab, but shall be approved by the technical lead of the unit. Then technical lead shall take the appropriate actions based on the identified non-conformity, such as including halting or repeating the work, withholding of reports or keeping the instrument out of service or any other action can be taken. Then technical lead shall report identified non-conformity to the quality lead who will raise the non-conformity and prepare a non-conformity corrective action form. This form also you shall have inside the lab non-conformity corrective action form to be filled by the analyst and technical lead of the unit. Then technical lead with his team shall take corrective action for this issue and record that in non-conformity corrective action form and any data required to prove or to ensure the appropriate actions taken shall be attached with this form. Then quality lead shall revise the corrective action and ensure that the action taken conform to this document, conform to quality management system inside the lab and also the used procedures or guidelines inside the lab, then he will approve. And if the test report has already been issued and sent to the customer, the customer shall be notified by this issue and work shall be repeated. You can issue new report or a supplement test report as explained before in reporting. Non-conformity corrective action record shall be documented at the respective unit. Technical lead of the, of the unit responsible for authorizing the resumption of the work or lab activity. Audit after that, after finishing the corrective action audit of the affected areas shall be implemented or performed by the quality lead of the lab to ensure the accuracy of the lab activity, the accuracy of the results or performance of the instrument. That was the end of our lecture for today. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.